got a 12 volt 35 amp hour battery here and you'll notice that it has a few settings here on it I've also got a 15 amp fuse and my DC ammeter is hooked up to just one of the conductors so I don't blow the fuse come over here and we'll hold this power button down until this guy charges up I had to get the instruction manual and and change that to low in order for the fridge to start I had to hold that down for three seconds and then select and it would go from low medium or high you can see the voltage because there's a long cable so there's a voltage drop but at the same time that battery's a little bit low and that allows the fridge to run the voltage um, at a much lower voltage but now that it's kicked on let's see how many amps we're drawn we are drawn six amps at 12 volts so uh, really close to the wattage six times 12 is 72 so really close to the same wattage that we were running on the AC power but now you can see that this fridge can run on a low battery and can run off of a 12 volt supply so I'm gonna let it run for a while and we'll go check it and see what the low voltage is that I can run that battery down to without hurting it and uh, run it as long as I can and see how long this fridge can go on this little mini battery so the fridge just turned off and you can see it's drawing almost no current we are at um, less than an amp right we're about a half of an amp right now so it uses a little bit more power you can see that the voltage has come back up now that it's not running and um, it's just sitting there on standby using you know 500 milliamps so to conclude that this battery uh, really does a good job it has a slow starter in it so it starts up slow it also um, in fact we'll demonstrate that but it also has a really low standby um, really really low standby current use so let's watch that climb up there it goes it climbed up real fast just by dropping that you can see starts drawing a little bit of that's where that voltage really starts sucking the power down that line now that little vibration is just from me touching things but imagine you put some rubber tape in there and things wouldn't vibrate around as much anyways so the next test will be to run this thing off of the uh, little mini power station